Mid-January is probably the coldest part of winter. I'm freezing. It's vlogging time! <laughs> What up YouTube, it's Gary, new YouTube vlogger here in Korea. I'm on my way to work right now. If you work in public schools, this is probably the best part about public schools is that you work half days in January because it's winter camp. I'm a little late right now. I wish I could show you what I go through every day to get to work. It's probably the most difficult thing. Hello. The most difficult thing that I go through every day. So cold! I'm literally squished between like, like this. I'm holding my phone like this because I'm literally squished on the train. Uh, the train ride over here. The hardest part about my job is my commute to my job. So I just made it to my work um, a little late, but nobody's here, so... A little explanation about winter camp. So the kids finish their first semester of school around December, and then they have the, the winter vacation, like, right the Christmas week, and then New Year's, so they get those two weeks plus... Oh yeah, just those two weeks, and then they come back for January, but they're only here for, like, um, half the day, and it's only chosen students. So I have class today, it's probably only going to be like 10 students, you know, each class, and they're only like two classes. It's a total breeze to be teaching in January. Actually, if I was a real teacher, like the other subject teachers, they actually get all this time off. Like all January is off, most of February, and so I'm kind of jealous about that. But we're English teachers, you know, they got to do something with us. So in winter camp, you have to make your own kind of thing to teach, your own syllabus, your own criteria and everything. This year I chose to teach about holidays. Each day I taught about a new holiday and what it means to have that holiday and I don't know, the kids seemed to pretty much enjoy it. Really, winter camp has nothing to do with, you know, learning. It's all about just teaching at a hog one, pretty much. So this is what I've been teaching in my class, my winter camp 2016. I've been doing all those holidays. Today is the last day of winter camp, so we're going to be doing Christmas Eve. And this is everything I just made up, you know, it's nothing special, just teach about Christmas. I highly recommend teaching in public school. If you're going to come to Korea, if you're going to stay for a long time, if you want to stay for a long time, teach in a public school, no matter where it is. It's safer, better, and more... That's our bell. Like I said, students always come in late. Nobody's here. They should be in by now. So like I was saying, teaching at a public school is so much safer, better, and such a good environment. Yeah, you're alone, but actually I'm not really alone. I have one other English teacher at the school, so we're kind of, I don't know, friends, yeah? Pretty much you're not with a whole bunch of foreigners in Korea. But that's not a big deal. You can make foreign friends anywhere. The other thing, schedule. You're working, you know, in the morning. I pretty much finish at 12 or 1. Teach in the morning, you have lunch, and then you get, you're free from till 4.30. So that's the time I use to make material, make things. There could be good stuff to come out of teaching at a hagwon or a private academy, but really it's just babysitting and it's just hard work. Ryan, did you comb your hair today? Why not? What? Don't comb your hair. You look ugly. <laughs> you look like a lion. Ryan the lion. I will have to continue my rant on 
being a teacher in public schools after. When is your birthday? My birthday is... 13! <laughs> 13. December. December. 13. 13. Oh, okay. Oh, my hands are so cold. Aren't your hands cold? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Are you okay, teacher? I hate my knee. <laughs> Hello. Hello. That's what she said. What is that? Oh, that's like a Maichu. Oh. It's a Yuchu? No. It's a Maichu? No. It's a Huchu. I don't know. Ankaka. Wow, wow. Ankaka. Ankaka. You know what kaka means in Spanish? It will little. Kaka means. Tong. <laughs> Not English, Korean, uh, Spanish. Kaka? Yes. Spanish. Poop. Kaka. <laughs> <laughs> Shy Koreans. What is this? Elf. Elf. What is elf? Elf. What is elf? Elf. 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 Legolas. Legolas? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, Legolas. Oh, there is Legolas. Machoppa! Yeah, you got it. But I, I don't want I... Legolas elves. I want Christmas elf. Christmas elf. Christmas elf. This is like a African. This one. African. Which one is African? One more. Which one is African? Oh? Yeah. Africans are black. They're white. African is a green. What are you saying? African? African. What is a African? <laughs> the Irish leprechaun. Oh, leprechaun. Leprechaun. You said leprechaun. Yeah. Ah. African. Lep leprechaun. African. Africaner <laughs> <laughs> Leprechaun. Leprechaun. They're kind of like leprechaun, you're right. It's break time now. They're they're arguing about Santa Claus and if he exists or not. <laughs> oh so funny. First of all, what did we learn yesterday? Thanksgiving! Thanksgiving! Boys, tell me. Something you learned from yesterday. Boys, boys, boys. Quiet. Boys, one thing you learned from yesterday. Anything you learned. When is Thanksgiving? I know it! What is it? When? You know? Thursday of November. Yesterday we made these. Yeah. Uh, turkey. Turkey feet. Turkey feet and turkey hands. Fly. Fly. Okay, how do you say? One reindeer, many reindeers. No. Rain one reindeer, many reindeer. Okay. It's the same. What's that? Sleigh! Sleigh! That is smart. Sleigh. Sleigh! 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 Sleigh
Santa. I like how you guys say in Korean. Grandpa Santa. Yes, it's very funny. He's not my grandpa. Grandpa Santa. Grandpa Santa. Something's in my eye. Something's in my eye. So, Rudolph is... It has to go to... Okay, ready? Wow. <laughs> Epic thumbnail. How do you do the lemon for them? I know many Korean words. All the food. Kimchi! Omelice! Kimbap! Oden! Song! Sorry! Sang! Narala! I don't know how to say it. I that's what I'm just to say. Oh. Lydia is so mean. She says, You are so old. I'm not old. Conceal it, don't feel it. He's cute. Him? No. Oh. Parents die and then they she keeps singing. Do you wanna be the snowman? Your mother and father is dead and all the all the only word you can say is I build a snowman. Yeah, it's so weird, right? Your parents die. Do you, Do you wanna, wanna build a snowman? <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Right? Oh, nice. And then last of all the this is another dying song. The snowman dies in the summer. Everybody dies in Let It Go, in Frozen. The burning sand is killing him. He's dying. Who's that to me? Yes. My parents died. <laughs> Do you want to build a snowman? He's <laughs> <laughs> thinking about summer, but he will never will. Yes. Summer, I'm gonna turn into a puddle. It died. <laughs> hey, get out.
so that was my day. That was a quite short day. It's only like 12 now and I'm done. You know, I can go home, finish, do whatever I want. I was ranting earlier about differences between public and private school. Um, I think public school is the best choice. I've done private school and it's, I'm telling you, there's always too much drama, too much um, kind of strange people that work there and strange owners as well. And so I highly recommend, if you're gonna stay, if you can only stay for a year in Korea, Hagwon is fine because they're easy to find and they're everywhere, especially in Seoul. But public school is a little bit more difficult to get, but if you work a little harder, then you can get it. Okay, so let's go home. My student today told me that I look 40. Do I look 40? I feel so depressed. My birthday is this Saturday and I'm feeling a little old. So the one thing I usually do is, it looks weird that people are like looking at me filming or vlogging. All I do is just like look at the camera and kind of like fix my hair so it looks like I'm using it as a mirror. That's what I usually do. Alright, time to get the other train. Made it home right now so uh, I'm gonna end the vlog right here in my elevator of mirrors. Thank you for watching. If you guys like this video, please give it a like, share, thumbs up, and I'll see you all in the next adventure. Peace!